had money for a rainy day. But believe it or not, Nancy Pelosi and those in Congress who want to raise your taxes, they want to raise your taxes. They don't want to give the money to the military where we need it. You know, without the military, we might not be here or we might not be here for long, believe, believe us all. Nancy Pelosi, what she's doing to this country, and she's gone so far left, and Schumer's gone so far left. Oh, I look forward to running against them. We've got to do well in 18, and I know we're going to do great in 20, but I think we're going to do well in 18. I think we're going to do well in 18. I think we're going to do very well. They have gone left. They want to raise your taxes. You know, I figure we're safe. Historically, when you win the presidency, you know the story. Just for whatever reason it is, and I think I figured it out. Nobody really has been able to explain it properly. I think I figured. The party wins the presidency. And now the people are happy, and you see tax cuts in this case, or whatever that party has got. But you see the big tax cuts. You see what we're doing. Jobs are coming back. And the people that voted for us become complacent a little bit. They're happy. And it's only two years between 16 and 20, and so it's two years, so it's a short time. So the people are happy. And they don't get out, and they don't vote like they should. Maybe they go to a movie in 18. None of you are going to a movie, I hope, right? So what happens is they sort of take it for granted. They sit back, and then they get clobbered because the other people are desperate. And they get out, and they have more energy. But I think because of what we've done, because of the tremendous success we've had, I have a feeling that we're going to do incredibly well in 18. And, and I have to say this. History is not on our side, but it's not because of that word. Complacency, you win the presidency and you take it easy, and then they come and surprise you. In the midterms, they call them the midterms. We've got to get out there and win, or they're going to take, and I say it, a Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, they want to raise your taxes. They don't want to give the money to the military, which we have to, because our military, because of Obama, and even beyond Obama, it's depleted. It's in bad shape. And we're going to build it stronger than it ever was before. We've already started. We've already started. So that's what happened. And that's what happens in midterms. But we're not going to let it happen to us. I mean, it's traditionally, that's what goes on. Oh, I love that person, whoever. Where is I love, I knew I liked that man. I saw him standing. Thank you. Well, we're going to be in there fighting because we don't want that tradition to go. We want to have tremendous success. 